What's up everyone, Joy Alert here, and I'm finally releasing a guide and introduction to the comeback radio and bond radio. I know it's been out for a while, but I've had a lot of people asking me how it works and whether or not they're going to get their rewards and so on. So I figured I'd make a guide for those of you that still don't quite understand it. I know a lot of you do, but hopefully this helps. So the comeback or bond radio is this icon right up here in the top right corner. If you don't see it, it either A means that you've already completed three bond quests, which I'll show off in a little while, or B, it means you're not quite level 90, which I can't show off anymore as the race account did hit level 90 earlier this week. But to be bonded with, you need to be a level 90 or above account. So if we go in here, we can see the UI. So this is the bond radio and it has an active bond quest with Idle Doiler YT as its third collaborator. Now each account can bond with up to three collaborators and then the icon will disappear like I said. So you, as the inviter, you need to send this code to someone, your invitation code, and they will enter it on a slightly different bond radio screen, which again, I'll show in a little while. Then they will show up in your application list <coughs> where they'll sit for up to 24 hours and you can accept or deny them. If you accept, they'll end up in here and you'll unlock some bond quests, which I'll cover in a second. So after both players complete their part in a bond quest, they both get rewards. So if you see here, this quest is fight 100 battles in the Crystal Crown League. So my account, which is the Abyss Meme team, has done 18 out of 50 for this. And the collaborator account has done 16 out of 50. So note that this number is the combined amount. So once both accounts hit 50 arena battles, each account is going to get 10 heroic summoning scrolls. So while this is the combined amount, this is not. Both accounts are going to get the 10 heroic scrolls. So as you can see, you can get 10 scrolls from Crystal Crown League, 10 scrolls from Trial of the Champions, 10 profit orbs from Brave Trial, 10 profit orbs from Sealand, 10 profit orbs from Flame Shriner Guild Bosses, a elite light hero from uh, Five Star Summons, an elite dark hero from six star fusions, an orange artifact from nine star fusions, and a random artifact chest, which does include pay to win artifacts. So there's actually a 30% chance, almost a one in three chance for you to get a random pay to win artifact from this chest, which means that on every account you complete three bonds, you have about a 90% chance to get one pay to win artifact, which is pretty awesome since it's 100% free and it doesn't take a ton of effort. Now, after the bond quest is completed, the relationship will expire automatically. So, oops. So once you complete all of these, including this deluxe artifact chest, the bond will be automatically broken regardless of the timer left. You will get a check mark here and the next square will be opened up unless it was your third quest, your third bond, and then the icon will disappear and you'll be done with the bond radio. Now, if you fail to complete your bond quest, so say you bonded with a, a very new free to play account and it's gonna have a lot of trouble getting that nine star hero or even four six star heroes, you actually still get your rewards once the timer expires. So the second you bond with an account, you get a 30 day countdown timer right here. So as you can see, this has started a little while ago, but it's pretty close to the 30 days. And once that expires, both players automatically get every single reward in that list regardless of whether or not they were completed. So these two accounts probably won't finish all of these quests, they'll probably finish some, but once in 593 hours, both Idle Doiler YT and my Abyss Meme team will get every single reward in the list that they have not yet achieved, including the possible pay to win artifact chest. Each inviter, so that would be this account in the scenario, can only have one active bond at a time. So like you see, this had to be checked before I could unlock this one, this had to be checked before I can unlock this one, etc. And then once the bond expires, you can invite another player with up with three different invitees for up to three bonds total. Now number six isn't necessarily true. You can actually bond with the same account all three times as long as it is available to bond. And I'll explain what that means in a second as well. So you can actually bond with the same account three times in a row. You don't need to bond with different people every time. Um, each inviter, each inviter, so that's again this account, 
can have up to 10 applicants. So when you click application list, you can have up to 10 people to say yes or no to. Um, this is pretty uncommon unless you're some sort of whale doing a giveaway and you're going to do a lot of spending. Um, and I'll show why that's beneficial in a second as well. And once your list is full, they can no longer use your code to apply. So you really need to select one. Um, at that point, just select the person who's either A, going to spend the most, or B, someone, one of your friends, or C, someone who can finish the quest quickly. Finally, any requests that you don't accept or deny are going to be automatically rejected in 24 hours. So this is something you're going to need to do fairly quickly. Um, you can't just let it sit and make your decision. Finally, from the in-game help, the invitee and the inviter, so both accounts, need to be on the same platform. While the server doesn't matter, Android can only bond with Android, iOS can only bond with iOS, tap tap to tap tap, and Amazon to Amazon. So, other than that, who can you bond with? So to bond with another account, they need to A, be on the same platform, like I said, B, they need to have hit level 50 or higher, and C, they need to have been inactive for more than 30 days. Now this is very important, and the game doesn't quite cover this exactly. This is not 30 days times 24 hours. This is 30 resets. So you really, to be safe, you really want to go 31 or 32 resets, because I know at least a few people have waited exactly 24 hours times 30 days and have been un unable to bond depending on where in the reset cycle they fell. So you need to go through 30 in-game resets. So that's 7 p.m. Eastern time at the current date and so on before you're eligible for bond. And if you do log into this account, say on day 29 and you don't have bond ready, you're out of luck. You're going to have to wait another 30 days. So I highly recommend waiting at least 31 days just to be safe, maybe 32 then trying to log into these inactive accounts that you want to bond with. So, in addition to all of these pretty dope rewards that you can get from the bond quest, there's also a second benefit to the account that you bonded with. Now that's the inactive account, that's the collaborator, that's the invitee, whatever current term you want to use. So this account right here. And that is every dollar spent on the primary account, so the inviter, will give 50 gems to the invitee account so if I spend a dollar on the Abyss Meme team, the Marbles account, which this is the account I won from Soul that I showed up in the whale video, will get 50 gems and so on. And there's no limit. So I've seen people get 20, 30, 40,000 gems, including the Abyss Meme team. If you watch some of the earlier videos, this account had like 40,000 gems because it bonded with my main account and I did some spending. Um, so this is a huge benefit and is pretty awesome. So now I'm going to jump over to a few other accounts in the bond cycle to show you what those UIs look like. And then I'll give you a quick little strategy tip for accomplishing free bonds yourself. So I'll be right back. All right, so on the other side of that same exact bond relationship, we have my Idle Doiler YT account that I won from June via Soul. So as you can see, when we go to Comeback Radio, it only shows the collaborator account and the bond quest menu with the same exact countdown timer and the same exact quest status. So once this ends, this account will likely will no longer be marked as inactive and we'll have up to three bond quests available to it as the inviter instead of the invitee this time. Also, in the last clip, I realized I misspoke. The $1 for 50 gems is bi-directional. So if this account spends a dollar, the Abyss Meme team will still get 50 gems and vice versa. So now I'm going to jump over to show you what it looks like to an account that has an open bond quest and what it looks like when you apply, as well as it looks what it looks like when you accept or reject those um, applications. All right, so this is what it looks like when you log back into a level 50 plus account that has been active for over 30 days. So when you go to Comeback Radial, you actually get this Pursuit Radio Start. So you get three times reward from Event Raid. So let's do this. So normally you get 23 star shards, but watch what happens when we clear this. We actually get 63 star shards, because, like it said, triple the reward. You also get three times the reward in Seal and Smash, which it hasn't unlocked yet. And finally, three times the reward in Daily Quest. So it'll actually get 12, 10, 1,050 magic dust instead of the 350. So in addition to these, which last for, I believe, uh, a week. Um, I only have 18 ounces left, but I believe the three times reward lasts for a week. You also get the bond radio application page um, so to become the collaborator so as you see there's the bond radio button you have no collaborator and you can enter an invitation code to submit that application I mentioned 
So let me grab a code that I know will work and that I can show off the other account. We will enter in the... All right, we're gonna have to type it in manually because <laughs> it doesn't want me to copy and paste. And we'll hit the OK button. So the bond request has been sent and now we'll be able to see the application page. But when we go to bond quest, it'll just show what quests there are. We've seen these before, nothing we can do. Additionally, for that same period of time, you get some solo quests, which I think again are a week long, but correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. So if you fuse a five star healer, you get um, one five star hero. Magic dust gets you more magic dust. Gold gets you more gold. Gems get you more gems. Spirit to spirit, promo, monster, and chaos stones. So these are nice if you're actually returning on an inactive account, um, just to get some nice rewards to get yourself going again. So now let's hop on over to the account that I just applied to so I can show off what that looks like as well. So now I'm on the E5 race account, which has an open bond slot. So if I go to the comeback radio button, as you can see, I have no active collaborators because if you've been following the series, you know that I laid out the rules that I would not do any bond quests. So if you click on application list, and as you see, this is the code I entered on that server one alt account, you will see the Firelight account has applied to be our collaborator and this expires in 23 hours, 57 minutes and 20 seconds. So if I were to click the screen checkbox, they would show up as the collaborator, these bond quests would unlock and we would be able to obtain those rewards. That said, the race account is not gonna do any bonds at least until it finishes in E5. So I am going to reject it and show what that looks like. So you get a yes, no prompt. You click no, it clears this out and the page is done. So finally, let's hop on over to my main account so I can show you what it looks like without this button, as well as give you guys a few tips and tricks to make this much easier to attain those awesome rewards and artifacts. So last but not least, this is my main account, which has completed three bonds. Uh, went one for three on pay to win artifacts on this account. And I managed to get a Rui, which was super awesome. But as you can see, the comeback radio button is no longer here and it will not be able to do any bonds unless it goes inactive for 30 days and then the button will show back up. So I'm gonna slide on over to the server tab and give you guys a quick little tip to make your life easier instead of searching for these bonds. So what I recommend doing is on an account, and it can be your main account, you don't even need another email address or password, is create some alternative accounts on different servers. So in this case, I've got server 865, 871, and 37. Um, actually, only 37 and 865 are bond accounts, but create alternative accounts on different servers, get them to level 50, which takes a day or two, and then let them sit for 31 days. Then you can use these accounts to bond with your main account over and over again. And you don't have to worry about spamming bond codes or hoping to find someone to um, bond with you or posting them on Reddit and Discords or anything like that. So I highly recommend you do this. It will make your life easier and you could just repeat using the account over and over again. Um, I have two because I have multiple accounts, but you really only need one of these since if you don't complete the quest, it takes 30 days to auto complete all the bond quests. Then you wait one day, the account is inactive again and you just do it over again. So hopefully that covers all of the questions you might have for the comeback radio or bond radio. Leave me a note in the comments if any of this was confusing or if you still have any questions, but that's going to wrap it up for this one. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like the in-depth guides like this, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.